much. Andy wasn't a jerk, you know. He wasn't a jerk to not like me. Or he did like me at first. And then I revealed my craziness and he didn't like me anymore. That didn't make him a jerk. He was a jerk to lead me on. And what essentially happened was I was living with my mom and her crazy third husband. And when you're constantly surrounded by that, it's going to rub off on you. That's just how it is. Okay? It's going to rub off on you. Um, even if you try to have it not. Um, so... I had gotten out of college. I was working at Friendly's. Um, they, my mom and her crazy third husband, had given me an old junk box car to drive to, you know, for a graduation, college graduation present. And I drove to Friendly's every, you know, whenever I worked, drove from where we lived. Um, it was about a half hour drive. And, um, I decided to get involved in personal ads. Um, Cause it's always something you can do, you know? Anybody's free to do that. Just cause it's on the internet now, it was still around. My God, personal ads were around even when I was in, in high school. Okay. I don't know how long they've been around. Like I said, they were the old fashioned kind, which means at Joe's right now, I have all the letters. But most of the guys, didn't interest me, and that's just reality, okay, um, I usually wasn't physically attracted to them at all, or even if I, I just, or their, or their letters bored me, or whatever, okay, usually it went hand in hand, but then there was Andy, um, he didn't give a picture, he assured me that I would not be disappointed, and it went above, beyond that, I was intimidated, okay, here's this, he towered, he was just gorgeous, I know I called Donald gorgeous and whatever, I've never called Joe gorgeous, I, I go, Joe is like, Joe called himself ugly, he's not ugly, he's a goofy musician, if not, like, you know, it doesn't matter, but Joe's not, like, pretty boy, just like, you know, anyway, um, so, Andy was gorgeous, model gorgeous, like, be in Hollywood instead of doing the regular work that he did, okay, um, I still remember his last name, he might, you know, he's probably still around, who knows, you never know, he could have lost his looks and he could have whatever, but he wouldn't lose his height, he towered over me and I'm five nine and a half and bare feet, this man was like, Six, four, six, five. I mean, he towered over me. He was dropped head gorgeous. Okay. I.e., he could have any woman he wanted. Um, why he was doing personal ads, who knows? He did say, I believe he's the one that said about me, you know, it might not have been him, it might have been someone else, but which is true too. Like, you seem so good on paper. If you're doing personal ads, you, there must be something psychologically wrong with you. It probably was Andy who said that. But. What was he doing, doing personal ads? That's the thing, okay. Um, nevertheless, he wasn't a psycho killer. I went, I went back to his uh, uh, apartment, and we made out for hours, which tells me that he would have, if he, if I, I remember I was still a virgin, so, and I told him, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm still a virgin, I'm not gonna sleep with you. Um, he could have been a psycho killer, of course he could have. He could have. He wasn't, so, you know, as well as I wouldn't be here right now. Um, so, I couldn't even talk to him. We met at a bar. I was intimidated as all hell. And I went back to his place with him again. He could have been a psycho killer. I wasn't even thinking in that terms back then. It happened a lot less back then, too. We're talking three decades ago, okay? But 
it did still happen, but it was so rare that, you know, I wasn't thinking in that terms, I was thinking, oh my god, this man actually likes me, I can't believe it, okay, um, And I, again, I wasn't dancing like happily ever after or anything. I never did that. But I was certainly thinking, you know, that if he wanted to see me, and maybe he'd be the one, one that I wound up losing my virginity to, okay? Instead of later to a guy that I should have never been with. He's the last person in the universe someone like me should have been with, okay? That's sexually at all, let alone lost my virginity to, but that's three years later and lots of make out in between then, you know? And I was just finally fed up. But then I lost it to someone who was so horrible, horrible, horrible in bed that that's when I went a little crazy after that. Because I knew there was more than that, okay? Um, remember I was only a technical virgin. That was only because my college boyfriend in my final year in college didn't want to take my virginity, even though I'd offered it to him. So, you know. So ridiculous. So Andy, I still remember his last name too. I don't remember what, what he looked like. I know that I'm not exaggerating. The man was fucking gorgeous. I was fucking intimidated as all hell, okay? And I, and, but, but no, non, nonetheless, remember, I might look the way I look, and I'm standing nearly six feet tall myself if they put me in heels, but I'm, I was nervous and shy and the whole nine yards, and I'm dealing with my mentally ill mom and her crazy third husband at home and, and all this crap, okay? Um, So I had confidence on paper, in this case, in my cute little personal ad that I wrote. Actually, I started it, I believe, way back then, like, come play in the waves with me. I still have those, too. I still have the personal ads that I wrote, okay? Um, but like Andrew or someone else said, you sound so good on paper, there's got to be something wrong with you. And of course, there was and is, so, um, so, basically, if Andrea, Andrea had just been up front with me, which he should have been, but he wasn't, and he was just a little bit older than me, he wasn't, you know, if I was 23, he was probably, he was probably 26 or something, okay, so just a little bit older. So now he would be the 57 if he's still around. Because uh, that was here in Massachusetts. Everything was here in Massachusetts. Well, everything was here in Massachusetts. I'm not just that young. Um, so, this is what happened. And I still remember it. I sent him weird letters. Why? Who knows what? Who knows? Don't remember what they were. They weren't that bad. And he even said so. I sent him weird letters. And um, that was all fine and good. He was still, I found out later, he was still going to... Um, so to speak, be my friend, which I just was hoping to get to make out with him again, okay? Um, he, uh, he had essentially said, like, over the phone after we had had that first time and whatever, um, oh, while we were making out and whatever, he did say to me, I could see why guys rape, he did say that. He didn't do it to me, but obviously, you know, people have thoughts and, 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 you know, but anyway, 
I remember that too. I'm saying I can see why guys read. Um, I sent him weird letters, but they weren't that bad. They weren't crazy, crazy. But then he had said he was going to call. I didn't hear from him at all. He had said over the phone, I'll break you of your shyness. So he had gotten my hopes sky high. I can't believe this guy likes me. I can't believe, you know what I mean? And then I just, nothing. I didn't hear from him at all. At all. Like, what the fuck? So then I sent a letter that still wasn't, it, 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 I mean, it wasn't psycho crazy. It was just, Basically, like, see, like, basically just putting myself down. I knew you couldn't possibly like me, blah, 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 whatever. It turned out he'd gone away on some business trip or something, hadn't contacted me. Um, but after that third letter that was filled with insecurity, he finally got to touch. He's like, I didn't get touched. I was way or above whatever, right? Um, instead of just breaking it off and saying, you know, you're just, I'm sorry, Laura, you're a nice girl, but you're a woman, you're whatever, but you're just too much for me. I can't deal with it. He basically led me on, told me he still wanted to get to know me. I'll break you of your shyness, is what he said, and all that crap. Then I didn't hear from him for an entire month. So he's a fucking liar. He's a liar. Um, that's when I sent him a tape and I sent him that and I still have a copy of the tape I believe yeah I do that's at Joe's too whether it would still play or not is another story I have hundreds and hundreds of tapes in a box um, because I would I would send people tapes and make copies of the tapes and Donald like, later ridiculed me on his tape you know? um thank you like, you think you're the only one who can send out a tape? I can send out a tape too, but <laughs> I sent him a letter, that poem, a tape, and basically told him off. Because you're not a man. Don't say, don't act like you want to be my friend. And then I don't hear from you for a month, which means you're just a fucking liar. Okay, don't do that to me. I deserve that. That's when I told him off, but it, a whole month went by before I told him off. A whole month. Um, and if you wonder why I say stuff like this, because it's just making a point. I'm making a point that, yeah, that was decades ago. But it's, it's, it, it happened, like I said, it happened not that long ago with, with personal ad guys and, and, and that one personal ad guy and, and, uh, well, men think, you know, they think they want the prize. But my so-called craziness is one to be, you know, too much for them. I'm too intense, I'm too whatever, I'm not normal. Two things of organic um, beef bone broth, Pacific organic beef bone broth. Two packages of organic mushrooms. Um, I'm supposed to do the summer squash. And then organic quinoa that's on the stove right now. So, to be continued.